Hello and welcome to Restoration DIY. It's great to have you here and I hope you enjoy the video. This week I'll be making a vase from an off-cut piece of yew casting two colour epoxy resin. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first job was to drill a hole in the blank, then centre it on the circle cutting jig and cut away the waste on the bandsaw. That done, I could get it ready for casting. To be honest, I'd cut the blank a little undersize, so I used some of the smaller offcuts to wedge it to one side, added another piece on top, and used packing tape to hold it in place and stop it floating. That done, I could mix the resin. The chosen colours were blue and orange. Each batch was thoroughly mixed for at least two minutes, then allowed to pre-cure before adding it to the casting. The orange was the first to begin gelling, so both colours were added to the mould, and with no time to waste, it went straight into the pressure pot, 50 to 55 psi was added, and it was left for 24 hours to cure. It's the next day, and there's a problem. Voids have formed in the surface of the casting, but whilst it'll need fixing, it also creates an opportunity. This is a flame rotary burring tool. With this in the drill, I can use it to clean up the voids, linking them together, making it easier to repair. I purchased it with this exact use in mind, along with something else it can do, but that'll be in another video. Compressed air took care of the cleanup, then it was put back in the mold. I mixed a batch of resin mixed with steel silver mica powder and this was poured into the area to be repaired. I had to stop and add some packing tape. This created a reservoir that I could fill to make sure the voids would be filled to the top. Another 24 hours later and the blank is ready and with it free of the mould I drilled a hole and fixed it to the lathe. I wound the speed up to around 800 rpm and sat about shaping the outside. Using the full size carbide I gradually got the blank to round and balanced. The rest of this is fairly straightforward so I'm not going to say too much. I'll just step in as and when.
outside roughly to shape, the mortise was next. Cut in the usual way, first a quarter inch parting tool to define the outer edge, then a dovetail cutter to cut the dovetail, then the gouge to clean it all up. After a little bit of sanding to check for tool marks, I turned the blank around and began shaping the top. Outside done, I used a 50mm forstner bit to drill out the centre. This wouldn't get me all the way to the base, but close enough and it saves a lot of time. Now I could remove what was left of the waste material. For this I used a combination of carbide cutters, a side cutting scraper and a bowl scraper.
final check for tool marks, then are sanded both inside and out up to 3000 grit. Then are cleaned down with denatured alcohol. This was followed by two liberal coats of sanding sealer, each one denibbed with a non abrasive scotch pad. Next up, Yorkshire Grit. Just a single application, thoroughly cleaned away till no more residue picks up on the paper towel. Then the resin polishing. First, Mercopolar Shine 10. A single coat, cleaned away, ready for the next stage. Polar Shine 5. Polished off to leave a deep shine. And to finish, Hampshire Sheen Gloss Finishing Wax. Two coats, buffed to seal and protect the surface. There you go, another project finished. And I like it a lot, and I hope you like it too. The colours have blended nicely. I especially like where the orange and blue have mixed into a dark green and the steel silver repairs have a transparency that makes a really nice 3D effect. Anyway, with all that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. A thumbs up will be much appreciated and comments are always welcome. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.